Ted 2 is the sequel to the 2012 film Ted. Wow, that's been a quick three years, boy. Oh my god. So anyway, there are several plots to Ted. First of all, Ted and his girlfriend finally got married. But of course, now they want to have a kid in order to save their marriage. Okay? When they find out they can't have kids, they go and try to find a sperm donor. Okay? At the same time, Ted finally realizes by the government, because you know how shady the government is, that he's not legally a person. He would be basically legally still property of, I guess, Hasbro. Since I think Ted was a Hasbro toy. And that there, there, there we see Giovanni Ribisi's character. Yeah, he's back in this movie. Back up to his old schemes once again to steal Ted again for his own personal twisted desires. Yeah, that's about right. This movie, I like this movie, but the first Ted is the best Ted for me. I, I like Ted too. I enjoyed this movie. I had some good laughs. I had some decent laughs, and I was like, eh, not that one. Could have left that one out. Okay. I like the fact that this movie felt long. It felt like a two hour movie. It's only an hour and 55 minutes, so it was only five minutes short of being two hours. But it actually felt two and a half. Which is not a bad thing, because I actually like to see a longer Ted movie, you know. But, uh, yeah. And you got a lot of good cameos in this movie, of course. I'm not going to give away most of them, though. No, I'm not. But the mainstays are Patrick Stewart, who is the narrator of these movies, like he did the first movie. It's weird how you get Patrick Stewart, Stewart, Mark Wahlberg, Seth MacFarlane, Amanda Big Ass Eyes, Cypher it, a so-and-so that shows up in the supermarket, Patrick Warburton, aka the second Buzz Lightyear, and of course Flash Gordon are all in the same fucking movie. That's nuts. That is nuts. But I like that one cameo in the supermarket. I was not expecting that. And he's sitting there talking about tricks. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if he's just typecast like that nowadays, but I like it because it works. It fits him well, and that was funny. <laughs> that was funny. I did not expect him to show up, so that was cool. That was cool. Do you ever find man? I do not like him in these movies. I like him as an actor. But the fact that I don't like him in this movie makes me say, okay, you're fucking, you're, 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 you're doing a good job, man, because I fucking hate you in these movies. I fucking hate the shit out of you, man. But I like you in everything else. Even Pirates of the Caribbean, let's not talk about that. Ugh. I think he was in that. I think that was him. I think it was. Anyway, you're great in this movie, but damn, I don't like you. <laughs> That's a good thing. Don't worry about it. Uh, acting in this movie is great. Men decipher it. Fits well. They did explain why uh, Marky Mark, you know, uh, Mila is not together anymore in this movie, which is kind of a different tone. But I came from that tone, so like, yeah, I understood that a lot. So I like that part. <laughs> I also like the Brett Favre part. That's no spoiler. It's in the trailer. It was in the Super Bowl trailer as well. It was the Super Bowl trailer. So, yeah. That was funny. <laughs> all in all, though, Ted 2 is a decent movie. It do have, like, three different plot lines going on. I left the third one out. Basically, to save you a spoiler. Because it is kind of a spoiler anyway. It has something to do with Giovanni Ribisi's character. And stuff like that. He is the third side plot in this subplot, I should say, in this movie. But all in all, Ted 2 is a, definitely a good time. No alcohol required. <laughs> Sorry, Jeremy, I had to do that for you. But, anyways, I'll give Ted 2 a B. Let me know what you guys think about Ted 2 down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Which one you like best? The first one or the second one? That's why I always said I like the first one the best. It had the most laughs in it. This has laughs too, but the first one's the first one. Yeah, you're never going to beat the first one, so any sequel knows this. Besides Terminator, that don't count because, well, it does count, but you know what I'm saying. Anyways, I'm out. <laughs>